Hey there, Tyler here, PartsForScooters.com. Today, we're going to be upgrading our valve train. So we're going to show you how to completely disassemble and reassemble your typical GY6 or 139 QMB head. First thing, we need to remove the stock valves out of our head. Easiest way to do that is with this tool right here. This is the Pit Posse valve compressor tool. Comes with all the different sizes for different size heads. This is going to make your life extremely easier using this tool. Sure, it can be done with a socket and a towel and blah blah. I'm not going to go into that crazy setup. This is what you really need. You want to start by selecting the appropriate compressor piece here. You want it to fit almost perfectly over the retainer cap. I would say this one's a 23 millimeter. So then, setting up the tool is extremely simple. This presses onto here. One side is going to touch your valve, the other side is going to touch the, re the retainer. So you'll take your head, we're going to slip this up and try to get the, this end centered on the valve while you spin the other down to the retainer. See how I gotta match that up? It's kinda hard to do uh, holding it like this. Bear with me. So if you look close, that part is pretty secured over the valve retainer, and on this side I have it directly centered on the valve. At this point you can start to turn, and what you're doing it's already pushed down far enough. You can see those two retainers there. I shouldn't call them retainers. Just like that. Sometimes, so this one's been in there a while. Little issue I'm running into, it's stuck. You can normally take a flat head or some small pick to free it up. I just used my fingernail. So keep in mind, this spring is under tension right now. If this thing slips off, it could go flying. You don't want that, do you? So let's slowly release the tension off of this spring. And get the tool out of the way. There goes the retainer. You'll have an inner spring and an outer spring. There is a washer underneath these springs that sometimes sticks because of the oil. It's a very, very thin washer. There's also an oil seal at the bottom of the, oh, I shouldn't say the bottom of the stem, but there's an oil seal right there. We're gonna, re we're gonna be replacing that as well. Might need some pliers to pull this off. Once you get it off, you're going to want to do the same exact steps on the other valve until you've got a completely disassembled head. Don't worry about pulling out the valve guides or the valve seats. Those are going to stay. So we have our head fully disassembled. The tool is put away ready for the next job. And we've held on to our valve keepers, the washers that go under the springs, and obviously the valves. We're going to be upgrading our seals titanium valve retainers, and 12,000 RPM rated springs. With these springs, you will get far less valve float, same with the titanium retainers, and they should help us get a snappier throttle response if the power is there. The oil seals, the Viton oil seals, they're rated for a higher heat resistance and just longer wear and tear. So these are just a good upgrade if you're going this deep in your head. Let's get started. Okay, so now we can start the reassembly process. What I like to do first, just to get it out of the way, pop these oil seals on. Just like that. Not too difficult, they snap right into place. Now go ahead, grab the valve you're working with. I'm gonna start with the exhaust valve, slide that bugger right up into there. And go ahead and drop your spring washer down and your springs. Now here's the tricky part. You want to get these little tiny keepers 
into the retainer. These keepers have a taper to them. On the side, the thicker side, there's a lip. That lip is what's going to grab the valve. So you want to put the small end taper side down into the keeper. Just go ahead and drop it in there, but make sure that it sits flush along against the wall. And you want to do that with both of them. So they sit in there almost face to face. You know, just basically they're butted up against each other. Now go ahead and drop that onto your spring. And this is where this handy dandy tool really helps. This is the valve insertion tool. And what we're gonna do is you wanna aim up the center piece that's spring loaded with the keepers we just dropped down in there. Try to picture yourself pushing those keepers over the valve centered. If you're a little bit off, it's gonna push off and you'll have to redo all this again. Most of the time though, you don't get this first try. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna center it up. I'm gonna push down. And that only grabbed on the one keeper, I could feel it. And I could hear it click out of place. So there, you just, I don't know if you saw that, but the keeper came out. So this is where we'll just go ahead and redo the whole thing. Drop your keepers back down into it. Make sure they're centered. And try to imagine yourself as centered over that valve as possible. I'm not doing too well, am I? Let's do this one more time. There we go. The way you'll know if you did it right, both of those keepers are gonna be flush, the same height. It's probably hard to see with me doing the video right there, but one of the keepers had come out a couple millimeters up. It jammed in and kind of held everything in place, but I could see it instantly. So I just pushed the tool right back down on there and when you get almost all the way to the bottom, if you wiggle it, you'll sometimes either feel it click into place or push right back off and click out of place. Go ahead and do the other side now. Got the valve, we got the washer, got your springs. Sometimes just getting these keepers into the retainer is the hardest part because they're so tiny. They like to flip around. Take my handy dandy insertion tool. wants to let's take those out perfect should have did that the first try. Huh. So now we have our 12,000 RPM springs. We have our titanium valve retainers. Everything's installed. We're pretty much done. If you want to double check to make sure that these valves are sealed perfectly, you can take a flashlight, shine the flashlight directly against the combustion chamber, and then look inside the ports. If there's any kind of valve leak, you are going to see light inside the port escaping by the valve. I can't show that on the video right now, I apologize for that, but just a good way to check. As you can see, we are ready to install this and put our uh, you know, aftermarket performance cam on to really unleash the power. So the stuff you saw in this video is our Pit Posse 
valve spring compressor tool. We have the universal parts multi-valve tool. Over here we have our titanium valve retainers, the RDR 12,000 RPM valve springs, then we have underneath the SSPG Viton valve seals. I hope this video helps you in the future. If you like it for any reason, be sure to give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, drop any comments you have below. We look forward to helping you out in the future. Thanks.